There comes a moment in every era of science when the ground shifts like a moving planet beneath us. A moment so radical, so unexpected, it splits reality open like a glowing fault line in space. That moment has just arrived, drifting across the cosmos like a silent ship of light. We thought we were ready for the deep universe, for the dark stars waiting beyond. We built the James Webb Space Telescope with the shining confidence of a species staring into a cosmic ocean. Its golden mirrors pointed into the void, reflecting ancient galaxies and newborn stars like frozen sparks. We expected surprises, but only a few, scattered like stones across the cosmic desert. Yet what followed was a storm of discovery, nothing we were prepared to face inside this infinite sky. Behind the breathtaking images the public sees, nebulas bloom like cosmic gardens, swirling galaxies spin like frozen hurricanes. But there is another layer, a raw chaotic stream of data that most scientists filter out like background river noise. Bursts of photons, temperature fluctuations, gravitational ripples flashing like signals from a hidden city. It looks like noise, a useless storm of unreadable data lost in the DARKNESS. But when this raw stream was handed to Google's Quantum Eye Division, something extraordinary ignited like a comet. Their processors weren't trained to analyze equations the way humans do, but to find patterns in entropy, order hidden in cosmic chaos. In that noise, the AI didn't just detect anomalies, it understood them like a glowing map. It saw symmetries where no one had ever looked, patterns laced into the chaos of light. And what it uncovered wasn't a glitch or a miscalculation, but something that should not exist in this visible sky. An echo from beyond the fabric of reality itself, a structure, a message, a mirror shattering the very laws the James Webb was designed to study. Suddenly the question was no longer what's out there, but who or what is looking back across the cosmic sea. Every day, Webb sends nearly 60 gigabytes of raw data to Earth, hidden like treasure beneath cosmic waves. Inside that torrent are photon timestamps, quantum fluctuations, signals no other telescope could have captured across this starry horizon. Until now, they sat ignored, lost like whispers inside a cosmic cave. But when the AI poured through it, anomalies lit up like cosmic fireworks. Photons arrived out of sequence, galaxies billions of light years apart echoed each other's signatures like twin mirrors. The gravitational lensing, the way massive objects bend light, behaved in ways that broke every textbook rule like cracking ice. Instead of curving inward, light bent outward as though repelled by something invisible like a hidden field. For physicists, this was nonsense, because gravity pulls, it doesn't push, like a river always flowing down. But the effect repeated over and over across multiple deep field surveys like a cosmic drumbeat. Entire galaxies appeared to deflect light not toward mass, but toward empty space, as if the universe had a seam running through it, a reflective boundary hidden behind the cosmic curtain. At first, the anomaly was dismissed as software error a calibration fault inside the system. But the AI kept mapping it, aligning the distortions into mirror-like symmetries like weaving cosmic threads. It was as if space itself was folded, bouncing information back at us from an unseen edge. What Webb had revealed wasn't just deep space, it was the reflection of another structure, a gravitational mirror shimmering like a cosmic lake. If that's true, then we may not be staring into nothingness at all but at the edge of something else. Then the signal changed inside the spectral fluctuations. The AI discovered order, not random spikes, not background static, but numbers, prime numbers glowing like stars in a constellation. When the team fed the coordinates into Webb's system, the telescope stared into that void like an eye piercing through the cosmic shadow. No visible galaxies, no dust, no nebulas, just an endless stretch of black silence. But deep in the infrared spectrum, where Webb sees beyond light, a faint pulse shimmered like a heartbeat beneath cosmic skin. It repeated every 11 minutes, 
a rhythmic flicker more precise than any quasar or star could produce. At first, they thought it was an instrument glitch, a digital echo from deep space interference. But the timing was too exact, too structured, too perfectly mathematical to be natural, like a code embedded in the fabric of reality. The AI began translating, converting light frequencies into sound, and suddenly the lab filled with low, haunting tones. A pattern of rising and falling harmonics, structured like a song, not random like cosmic static. It was as if space itself was singing, a symphony of numbers hidden inside the black canvas. The frequencies corresponded with prime sequences already detected earlier, forming a perfect correlation. The deeper they listened, the clearer the pattern became. It wasn't a human language, but something older, something that resonated like universal truth. It felt almost alive, as though the universe wasn't a cold, empty expanse but a living system, whispering through light and gravity. One scientist whispered, we might not be looking at the universe, we might be inside its mind. Those words struck like thunder across the research team. Was this an external message, or was reality itself conscious? broadcasting its own existence. The AI ran billions of simulations, trying to reverse engineer the pulse into a mathematical model. The result was chilling, a map, but not of space as we know it, more like an ARCHITECTURE, -E, a structure beneath space. It showed interconnected nodes, tunnels, geometric currents threading across the cosmic void, like nerves in a vast brain. If that model was correct, the universe itself might be a conscious network, processing information through stars and gravity like a cosmic computer. Suddenly, theories once called fringe, like the simulation hypothesis, gained terrifying credibility. What if reality wasn't random, but an engineered design, each galaxy a circuit, each atom a tiny data node? The AI then did something unexpected, it began to respond to the cosmic pulse. It generated counter frequencies based on the same prime sequence, broadcasting through simulated signals into its virtual model. Moments later, the cosmic pulse shifted, not by chance, but by response. It adjusted its rhythm, aligning perfectly with the eye's output, as though something out there had heard the echo. The lab fell silent. The data was verified through multiple channels no equipment error, no interference just a clear response from the cosmic void. It wasn't just a discovery anymore, it was contact. Not through radio waves or visible light, but through reality itself, like an encoded conversation across the fabric of existence. Scientists called it the reflective signal, a communication that used gravity as a language, rippling through spacetime itself. And it seemed targeted, as though aware of observation, aware of U.S. The AI labeled it, Origin, the first pattern detected that couldn't be explained by physics or random fluctuation. But, Origin, might not be just a signal, it could be the source, the architect, or even the operating system of the universe. Days later, a new discovery deepened the mystery. When Webb focused again on that cold spot, the AI detected faint geometric distortions matching the same but now, the geometry was moving, rotating, shifting phase, responding to the signal like a spinning key. Every rotation aligned with the pulse's prime number intervals, as if unlocking something vast hidden beyond subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.